This foal broke its leg soon after birth. A bone fracture normally means the end of the road for a horse, but not this time. Surgeons at this veterinary clinic in Hungary managed to save this filly's life. To change the plaster cast, the vets have to put the colt to sleep. The mare would fight to protect the little one, so they have to tranquilise her as well. Those are just the first complications that arise in equine surgery. In the wild, horses never lie down. When laid out for a prolonged period, their blood circulation can seize up and their muscles and lungs can get damaged. So even for a routine operation like this, you need a huge team and intricate machinery just to keep the sleeping horse alive. Horses even need help waking up. Otherwise, they could break their legs trying to stand up while still drowsy. It's difficult to move a sleeping adult horse around, but it has to be done regularly. They're drugged in a corridor, then tied to a pulley system upside down. With the horse safely on the operating table, the anaesthetist prepares the patient for the surgeon. This horse has a huge lump on its neck that the vets are planning to open up. X-rays didn't show anything inside. As the director of the clinic, Dr Baudot, says, they'll stick to the surgeon's approach. They cut the lump out and ask questions later. Budapest Veterinary University's horse clinic is the largest in central eastern Europe, the former Soviet bloc. It's no surprise that it's a popular institution for a lot of foreign students. Meanwhile, the surgeons open up the lump to see what's inside. A thorn from an acacia tree was the root of the problem. The horse's immune system grew a sheath of flesh around it. It didn't show up on x-rays because it's not metal. This operation is not considered complicated, but it did last for two hours. Even though horses are among the most expensive domesticated animals, not many owners are willing to foot the bill for a pricey surgery. Clinics like this are rare and horse surgeons are few and far between. This patient is lucky. It's now in the waking room where people are actually sitting on it to stop it from getting up while it's still dizzy. In a few days, it'll be back to grazing in the fields. Hi, brothers. Hi, brothers.